Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use Advanced Teleport. This plugin adds a bunch of teleportation features like warps, homes, TP requests, random teleports, and a lot more. A good thing about this plugin is that you can enable and disable different features if you wanted. So for example, if you didn't need a home feature, you can just disable it in the config. There are also custom countdowns before teleportation, economy and XP integration, and signs. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab and type in advanced teleport. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can just download the plugin from the plugin page and upload it to your plugins folder manually. As you can see, I've also got Vault and an economy plugin installed to show you these features. Let's go through the config first and set up a few things. Go to your plugins folder. Here, the only file we need to worry about changing is the config.yml file. In here, you can total features at the top. Below are the timers. The command cooldown is how long you have to wait after using the same command again. Then the teleport timer is how long it takes for the command to function. So basically the delay before you actually teleport. You can set up custom values for different commands. Lower, you can change whether you want to pay for these commands using a Vault Economy plugin or experience levels. I'm going to enable Vault to show you how that works. You can set the default payment here, or you can have different commands cost different amount of in-game money, so it's all up to you. The TPR setting are the random teleportation settings. You can change the teleport distances, toggle the use world border option, and set what blocks to avoid. This means that you won't spawn in the blocks which are on this list here. You can also add a distance limiter for each of these commands. So in this example, if a player types in slash spawn and is within the 1000 blocks, they will teleport to spawn. But if they are further away than 1000 blocks, they won't be able to teleport. And that's about it for the config. In game, you can do things like set spawn and set home with the slash set spawn and slash set home and then the home name commands. Then to teleport to them, type in slash spawn or type in slash home and then the home name. Of course, this plugin uses permissions, so not every player will have access to all of these commands by default. It's up to you to set up the permissions correctly. Next, you can set warps with slash warp set and then the warp name. And to teleport to the location, type in slash warp and then the warp name. You can of course delete them with the slash warp delete and then the warp name, but I'm not going to do this right now. If you want to request to teleport to a player, type in a slash TPA and then the player name. And then on my other account, I will have to accept the teleport request in order to teleport to them. You can also do the opposite and type in slash TPA here to request a player to teleport to you. Slash TPR will teleport you randomly within the coordinates which were specified in the config. If you want, you can also create a sign for this. To do this, place a sign down and type in a random TP on the top line surrounded with square brackets. Once you click the sign, it will essentially execute that command for you and teleport you into a random location. You can also do a similar thing with warps. Place down a sign and type in warp on the top line surrounded with square brackets. And then on the second line, type in the name of the warp itself. There are more commands which you can check out on the plugin page, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.